Hello everyone, dear government, dear position, my name is George and I'm the whip. I don't have a dog and I don't have a horse, even less a horse actually. I live in a house, a little house with a front yard and a backyard. My grandpa always told me, fix your backyard before fixing the front yard. My point is, my grandpa always told me this lesson because, you know, we're in the United States. We're very nosy, we're very noisy. We like to go where we're not supposed. We like to go to parties where we're not invited. And by doing so, we're making new enemies. And new enemies equal new wars. New wars equal we need weapons, weapons to fight those people. Um, as Said said, war is evolving. It is true, war is evolving. But new warfare, modern warfare, costs a lot of money. And it's no longer, as you said, your old M1 gun that is going to help, like the guns that were used in World War One, World War II. No, this is not going to Despite those small, and also you also mentioned, like we're going to use those small reckon teams to go and analyze. Well, I disagree with you. A small, re a small recognition team will just go there, analyze, maximum do target one precise target, but will not clear anything. As the members of the opposition said, yes, vulnerability is an argument. By uh, decreasing the budget, you're going to make our country vulnerable to outside attacks as well as to inside attacks. I would like to mention the inside attacks. As the whip here said, that the money, by decreasing the budget, you're going to reinvest it into social security. Well, I don't think that the internal cells or the people that cause internal problems are going to have uh, issues if their teeth are white or not, they're still going to continue their mission, which is to cause trouble. Either way, having a better or less social security system. I would like also to mention uh, the deputy of uh, the opposition that uh, mentioned losing jobs. It is true. Decreasing the budget, you're going to lose jobs. The army is like a second place. No. The army is like a second place. It is a second chance. People that don't have, unfortunately, a good education because their families are not rich enough or don't have the money to send them to places, the army is a home. We should not actually cut the budget, we should actually invest money in order for those people that don't have money to send their children to the army and at the same time get an education and fight for their country, which they consider very important because they have a national soul. Yes, please. Yes, you said that, you know, uh, we go to parties that you are not invited to. Isn't that cutting off budgets decrease our enemies and increase our, you know, beautiful picture in this world? So I can just repeat the last part because I was only testing problem. Decreasing budget will decrease our ability to go bar to parties we are not invited to, decrease our numbers of enemies, actually make our, you know, picture in the world much nicer. Okay. Do you agree? This is unfortunately a utopia because no need to be noisy. Let's say that I like what he has in his garden. I want to go take this flower. Some people have petrol, and let's be honest. We're, not, we're kind of in need of oil. So when we see an opportunity or <laughs> a little thing to go to someone else's front yard, I don't think that having money or not having money is going to stop us. We're the United States, for God's sake. Come on. And last but not least, look at the right. Yes, working together as the whip here, as the whip of the the government said. Uh, working together, well sure it's very beautiful that we're going to work together, that if there's a problem we're going to solve it as a team, but look at our politics, all of us are divided. Working together is a utopia. It would be so beautiful that we just drop arms, like put them away and like be defenseless like all of the people. But if you could, if you look, oh, one more. but if you look at the Cold War, everyone was trying to fight to get uh, the number, like to have as many uh, nuclear weapons as as they can, because you know, who's the strongest? The one with the biggest gun, as you mentioned. You said with the nuclear weapons. He's also with the nuclear weapons. Yeah, sorry. Anyways, yes, working together is an utopia. My point is that no, you shouldn't decrease the budget of the army. You should actually increase it and encourage people to go fight for their country, because this is one a very honorable job. Thank you very much. Thank you.